Every day I tuck into food that's traveled a surprisingly long way to reach my plate. It's been picked, washed, cooked, packaged, sometimes even juiced, frozen, or dried, all before I take my first bite. But have you ever stopped to wonder what really happens between the farm and your fork? Today, I want to take you behind the scenes into the fascinating world of food processing. It's a journey of science, history, and a touch of culinary magic that shapes nearly everything we eat. Let's start with the basics. Food processing is just the transformation of raw ingredients, fruits, veg, grains, meat, dairy, into things that are safe, tasty, and convenient to eat. And here's the thing. This isn't a modern invention. People have been drying, fermenting, and cooking food for thousands of years. Think salting fish, turning milk into cheese, or sun-drying tomatoes. What's changed is the scale and technology we use today. There are three main levels of food processing. First, primary processing. This is pretty straightforward stuff. Washing carrots, grinding wheat into flour, pasteurizing milk. It's about getting food ready for the next step. Next up, secondary processing. This is where ingredients become familiar foods, like baking bread, making pasta, or canning beans. It's about turning building blocks into meals and snacks. And finally, there's tertiary processing. These are the convenience champions. Ready meals, instant soups, snack bars, they're designed to save time and make life a bit easier. But why do we process food at all? For starters, safety. Processing helps kill off nasty bacteria like E. coli or salmonella, using heat, pressure, or chemicals so our food doesn't send us running for the doctor. Then there's preservation. Most fresh food doesn't last long on its own. Processing extends shelf life, helps us transport food across continents, and means there's less wasted. Processing can also make food more nutritious or accessible. Think of flour fortified with vitamins or milk with added calcium, or how cooking tomatoes actually unlocks more of their nutrients. And let's be honest, convenience is a huge part too. Pre-cut veggies, microwavable meals, ready-made snacks. Food processing saves us time, especially on busy days. Now, there are loads of techniques to process food, each with its own purpose. Thermal processing, like boiling, steaming, or pasteurizing, uses heat to kill germs. Freezing puts microbes on ice, literally, by stopping their activity. Drying pulls out water so bacteria can't thrive. That's how we get dried fruits, cereals, spices. Fermentation is another old-school favorite. It not only preserves food, but creates new flavors, like in kimchi, yogurt, or sourdough bread. And packaging It's not just about looking pretty on the shelf. It protects food and keeps it safe until you're ready to eat. Modern factories are obsessed with safety. Strict hygiene, regular testing, and systems like Hey CCCP make sure food is handled properly every step of the way. Today, there's even AI and blockchain tracking to trace food back to its source and reduce waste. All this means food processing does a lot more than just fill supermarket shelves. It makes global trade possible, supports busy city life, and helps fight hunger around the world. Of course, not all processed foods are equal. There's a world of difference between frozen peas and ultra-processed snacks full of sugar and salt. That's why I always check the labels and try to stick to whole foods where I can. So, what is food processing? It's the blend of science, art, and industry that transforms raw food into meals we can trust. From farm to factory to my fork, it's everywhere. It's not just about convenience. It's about feeding the world, cutting down waste, and helping us live better lives. Thanks for coming along on this journey. Next time you sit down for dinner, maybe you'll see your meal in a whole new light. Eat well, stay curious, and cheers to the science behind every bite. We are happy to help with any queries you may have. Please like and subscribe to support our channel. With your help, we would like to continue to create videos that you can enjoy and use to help you understand the food industry. Follow us on our Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook to learn more about the food industry. Email us at foodforwardconsultancy at gmail.com if you would like to use our services. Thank you again and have a pleasant day.